It's a Monday night, 10 o'clock. I was about to fall asleep. Brother Ramon Aldridge and I both made a commitment to get on fire for God more than we ever had. And him and I have a past where we were on fire winning a lot of people, baptizing people. And he just gave a Bible study right now. And he's like, Brother Freddie, I just gave a guy a Bible study. He wants the Holy Ghost. He wants to be baptized in Jesus' name. We're here at the church, 10 p.m. on a Monday night. John chapter 3 and verse 5, Jesus tells Nicodemus, well, first of all, Nicodemus is a Pharisee. He's a religious ruler, so he you know he's hiding. He has to come to Jesus at nighttime because he's worried for his reputation. All the religious people hated Jesus because Jesus was actually doing real signs, wonders, and miracles. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he wasn't just religious. He was like people who are paralyzed rise up and walk, and like what they got up and walk. Like so, the religious people were jealous of Jesus, and. In John chapter 3, he, Nicodemus comes to Jesus and says, you know, Master, teacher, surely God's with you. Nobody can do the stuff that you're doing unless God's with him. And then Jesus tells him like this, unless a man is born again of water and spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And then Nicodemus is like, how can a man be born again when he's already old? What am I going to do? Go back into my mom's womb and be born? And Jesus tells him like this, he's like, I've been telling you, verily, verily, I say to you, unless a man is born again of the water and spirit, he cannot even enter into the kingdom of God. And he tells him, that which is born of the flesh, it's flesh. But then like, that which is born of the spirit, it's spirit. Then he tells him, don't be astonished that I say to you, you have to be born again. He says, this is word for word what I'm telling you here. I have it memorized. He says, the wind blows where it blows, and you can't tell where it's coming from or where it's going, the same as everyone who's born of the Spirit. And all this was written in the Greek. So the word sound, that you can hear the sound, it actually is the word phone, which means the, the sound of a voice. So when you receive the, the Holy Spirit, this is how it happens, man. God, well, first of all, I, you, know, you can receive the Holy Ghost anytime, but it always happens when someone repents. Like, man, God, I don't got it all together. God, I got all these addictions. God, I'm mad in my mind in some areas, and you see it all, I can't hide it. You know, like, just the, just the honest, you know, like, whatever it is, you know, I'm a pervert in this area, I'm a pervert in that area. Like, man, God, you see my heart, I'm all a sinner, straight up. And I, I'm asking you to forgive me, but I'm also asking you to help and transform me and to change me, and I'm gonna trust you, and you, I'm having faith in you to do it. That's like a true repentance right there. You know, it's a true heart. You know, it's not a special prayer that you repeat after a preacher. It's the condition of your mind and the heart. And and whenever you have that mindset, you're like, God, forgive me. The Bible says in First John chapter one verse nine that God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and then cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So as soon as you ask God to forgive you and you're su truly, really serious, He knows if you're not, if you're going to go back to it or if you're really going to try to, you know, ask Him to help you to overcome. And once you do that, most people, like, they lift their hands and as you're thanking Him, thank you, God, for forgiving my sins. Thank you, God, for washing me clean. Yes. And be you begin to vocally praise Him because nobody gets the Holy Ghost like this. Yes. I see people pray, they go... You know, I'm not dissing nobody, but but that's what you're going to go home like this. But, you know, Father, I love you, Jesus. I need you, God. Like truly from your heart, out your mouth. The power, the, when you, I feel it right now. When, when you begin to praise God, I feel goosebumps. When you begin to do that, you feel the power of God come on you. And this is the element of faith right here is yielding your tongue and giving it to God. And when this happens, he comes in. And you will speak in the language that comes from heaven. You you won't even fully grasp or understand. I don't need to. It's not for us. It's the spirit bearing witness out of your mouth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, just stand up to your feet, brother. Just lift your hands right now. We thank you, Jesus. My God, we thank you, God. Oh, I thank you for the power. I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. You washed his sins away. Every sin he's ever committed, you washed it away. Never to be remembered. 
Oh God, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. I pray God you fill them with the Holy Ghost. I pray God you protect them. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your kindness, God. Oh, Father, I thank you. And I pray, God, that you continue to be with him, destroying the generational curse, destroying the strongholds of the mind. Stay with him, God, and encourage him and allow him to understand that it is you who is building him. It is you who is building up this man you've called him to be. And this is the day of the turnaround. This is the day that everything changes. This is the day, God, from this day forward he will become the man you've called him to be i see these things and i speak them into existence in the name of jesus i praise your name and i thank you jesus i thank you jesus hallelujah right now we break every chain of fear every chain of fear is broken over the mind over the heart over his past we give it to you god for a clean slate Oh, God, I thank you for breaking the spirit of fear off of him. I thank you, Father, for breaking that spirit that has been binding him for so many years. It is all for this hour. It is all for this moment right now. His name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus.